hello everyone it's me a summary welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you this type of double exposure effect which is really cool and creative so let's get started if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first we'll go to the file and taking new options we'll take square shape or rectangle shape so square shape should be 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel or if you can take the rectangle shape it will be 2560 and 1440 so i'm taking this one and taking this one hit the create button the white background will appear over there that's fine and going to the file and going to the place embedded options from here i'll take my stock image which is the girl image and after that hit the take button and then going to the quick selection tool and going to the select and mask options from here I'll use the Photoshop AI which is the select subject the select subject will select your photo at a time and if anywhere you can get some unwanted uh, things you can just brush by that things okay that's fine and you can brush over there that's good and decontaminate colors just select this one and here new layer with the layer mask and hit okay so you are getting the background free image over there so press ctrl or command t i'll make a little bit of zoom this type of zoom like that okay that's fine okay now in the downside i will place the forest and the upper side i will place another forest okay that's fine going with file and place embedded options from here the forest one i'll rotate this one by pressing shift and hold it and making it smaller and placing over there okay that's good you can rotate this photo by pressing quarter or command t and flip horizontal so that's fine okay and my forest photo over there here is a layer options and i'll make this one lighten and press ctrl or command t making this one bigger that's good and a little bit up like that and after that going to the levels options for adjusting the colors and everything so i'll make the color adjustment like that so don't forget to mask this one so if you mask this one it will affect only the downside photo that's good and the upper side making this one group that's good and upper side photo should be going to the file again and going to the place embedded and taking this one this bar photo and press the shift and hold it and rotate this one that's good and then changing the blending mode into the lightening mode press ctrl or command t and adjust this so adjust this one okay that's fine same process going to the levels option for adjusting colors before that you have to mask it and making this like that the rest of the thing which one is disturbing your photo you should just brush this one so making this one mask and going to the brush options and brush this one before that you have to make this one black and mask this one that's fine and this photo i would make this one the black and white so black and white so that's good and you are getting like that now we'll deal with the text so text portion going to the text and double exposure so press ctrl or command t and making this one like that and rotate this one that's good i'll place over there but i want to place in a downside of the layer that's good and right press and blending options from here i'll use the drop shadow drop shadow shade setting should be like this okay one zero six and multiply and hit okay press ctrl or command j and making another copy of this layer that means text layer and just upper side so in this portion i will turn off the fill color right press and going to the blending options and going to the stroke only so in a stroke portion i would suggest to give two or three or four so giving the two that's good and hit ok so selecting the upper text and the lower text press ctrl or command t you can make this one bigger that's good and i'll use the o over there so it will overlap upside and downside 
so this one will make the like uh, amazing depth over there but one thing is that in the upper side drop shadow should be turned off so you are getting your photo like that so now you can crop it out by using the crop tool over there one by one so this one should be like that and hit the tick button you're getting like that and if you want you can place text over there and the text double exposure so you can down the font size like that you have to select this and like that double exposure okay make the gap between two lines that is auto or i would like to use 16 actually a little bit okay that's fine so you can use that or you can use the color from here color picker that's good it will make sense and you're like uh, you're getting the whole things ready so if you want to use some uh, filters over there upper side go to the color lookup from here and choose the color lookup like horror blue or you can choose the like that so like this and foggy night or like fuji film that's good fuji film is good for me so in this portion you are getting some disturbing element you can remove them all so you can do that here is our this photo that means this photo going to the brush again B from the brush make the brush size smaller and you can remove the portion from here which is very helpful to you and the downside as well so down so downside should be like that and you can mask this one B from the keyboard B from the keyboard and you can remove that things so which is really nice and you can make your ready image like double exposure effect in photoshop so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any sort of questions query request please do comment on my video comment section and in the next video is my signing out today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye